better, I'd say you were looking for an excuse to come and see me at lunchtime. I told you I forgot my pee kit. You know, when I was at school, if you forgot your pee kit, they'd make you do it in your pants. Seriously? Mm. Are you sure you're not anchoring after some own cooked food? Hey, look, there's an advert in here for some footy trials. Why don't you give it a go? It'd probably do you good to be part of a team. Well, the right team. With the right teammates, of course. The trials are tonight after school, though. Yeah, well, I know it's short notice, but I could always nip out of work and meet you at the school gates. No, you're all right. All right, if you think I'm cramping your style, why don't we ask Nick? Yeah. I'm just thinking we can't rest on our laurels. You know, there's always someone doing something new and different. That was me thinking we were doing all right. Oh, well, we are, but well, complacency breeds failure, doesn't it? So what are you thinking? Uh, not thinking anything yet. Wine tasting? No. Nah. Dull. OK, what about cookery classes? You could teach them dishes you've made off the menu. What, so they can make my food themselves at home? Well, obviously not as good as you. Good answer. <laughs> well, how'd it go? I did it. I got into the team. Palais got nothing on him. He was great. Oh, that's brilliant. Can I go and tell Zidane? Yeah, of course. He's in the kitchen. Go on through. Yeah, it's really good to see him with a smile on his face. Yeah, thanks, Nick. I don't mention it. You know, the only other person we've got to worry about is you. Well, Sam's not the only one who deserves to have a smile on his face. He's got a point. Look, if Simon's happy, then I'm happy. Come on, come on. Live a bit. You know, find a way of enjoying yourself as well. There you go, mate. All right, cheers. How's it going? Good, yeah. Won't do for me. No? Nah, I've never been good at taking orders. I'm a free spirit, me. Same goes. Picking Robert's brains out. I'll be better than him one day. A man with a plan, I like it. Right, that's me. Gonna knock off, get a couple of cheeky cans. Don't work too hard, will you? All right, Si. How'd it go? Well, the counsellor's all right, really. Oh, praise indeed. Right then, go on, get your footy kit and get to footy practice, eh? See ya. See ya. So I didn't really go. Well, put it this way, I think his dad's ears were probably burning. Yeah? Yeah. It's all about how he was an alcoholic, how he was never sure whether he was going to get nice dad or scary drunk one. Sounds like he's making progress. Well, I'm not going to crack open the champagne just yet. It still only takes the slightest thing to set him off. Got to stay positive, Lee. Yeah. Oh, I thought your shift finished ten minutes ago. Yeah, well, I've nothing to rush home for. I stopping at Ken's tonight. Well, you should make the most of it. Go out, dance around your handbag. Flaming cheek. Now, I thought I'd stay behind and try some of this lot, see what you've been doing in that kitchen. Oh, is that cod? Nope, this is lime caught halibut with chive mash. Oh, oh that's fantastic. Mm, could eat about a bucket like that. All right, what are we having? Halibut or three grain beetroot risotto. Oh, well, it's worth eating beetroot just to turn your wee pink. <laughs> How old are you? OMG. Is that homemade ice cream? Yes, please. Mm. Lee was just saying she fancies giving it some on the dance floor tonight. Yeah? I'm up for that. <clears throat> Ow. Ice cream headache. Yeah, well, so do right. Um, what do you fancy doing then? Do you want to go clubbing? Yeah. Yeah, why not? Been ages since me and you have been out on the lash. Huh. Fab. Well, should we go home and get changed then? Well, you can't go out wearing that, can you? Oh. Come <laughs> on. Mm -hmm. Save me some of that, it's really fit. Absolutely nothing to wear. Are you for real? Your wardrobe is bursting at the seams. So is you. <laughs> uh, Eva, listen. About before. Before what? About asking Sinead to do the modelling. You know I couldn't ask you, don't you? It's up to you. You're too good looking. But everyone would assume you're a model and we'll be back to square one. I'm not going to tell you what to do. No, honestly. You're stunning. Oh, shall I just go? Come on, let me buy a bottle for a drink. Can't, I'm sorry, I'm on a girl's night out. Got a book early, babe, I'm in demand. Oh, come on, Eva, put the poor bloke out of his misery. Why don't you go to the bistro, I have one in there first. Go on then, meet you there in 20 minutes. Jog on. He is totally smitten. Yeah, about pig in time. <laughs> <laughs> there. He says, 
Your body is 65% water and I'm dead thirsty. Oh. <laughs> so I said, right. Well, if you don't get your hand off my backside, you'll just be dead. Oh. Hey, Andy, have you got any good chat up lines? <laughs> Not really. Yeah, but he's got that old vulnerability thing going on, hasn't he? Well, thanks for that. Just never really had to use them. All right. Come on, then. What's your secret, Tiger? Yeah, go on. Uh, well, if I find if you stand there for long enough without making a move, it creates a bit of mystique. Ladies can't resist it. All right. Yeah. Our Andy's quite the mystery man. Well, I'll tell you what, why don't we finish that bottle? I'll just nip over there, give Aidan a piece of my mind, cos I'm sorry, but who does he think he is? And then we'll go into town. Oh, Eva. What? Well, he'll just get all smarmy, you'll fall for it, and then you'll be a no-show. No, I won't. I won't? Mm. You better not be. Oh, do you want to say that any louder? Not only am I the saddest person alive spending me night off in the place that I work, now I've been stood up and all thanks for that, Andy. Sorry. Especially as that guy over there's been checking you out for the last ten minutes. Oh, yeah, right. Is this one of them jokes where I turn around and Norris is sat there? Seriously? And speaking as a heterosexual male, I'd say he was a seven, maybe even an eight. So what do you reckon? Not feeling too well. Off to bed. Yeah, that's exactly what I was thinking. Not one for the road. I mean, uh, lover boy's still over there, so... Um... So? Oh, I'm bored. I want the company. <sighs> oh, go on then, but this is definitely the last one. <laughs> yeah, right. You said that after the last, last one. But you know what? That shows a certain unpredictability, which is good. At least that's what Steph tells me anyway. Oh, hot man approaching, six o'clock. Hi, you go. All right. Yeah, good. Can I buy a drink? Oh, um... There we go. And, uh, same game for you, was it? Cheers. Tom. Leanne. You want to give me a call? That'd be great. No pressure. Call me. <laughs> see ya. Yeah, see ya. Not such a rubbish night then, after all, eh? Yeah, yeah all right. Thanks for that. But was he or was he not a bit of a dude? Yeah, seemed nice enough. You, you're a hard woman to please. Are you going to call him then, or what? Nah, I don't think so. Listen, I, I know this must be tough for you, but the guy was an eight. Does he give you a massive tip or something? Yes. <laughs> yes, he did. <laughs> Beliefs and values, the A to Z of faith. What are you doing? Looking in your homework diary. Hold on. You will have picked a letter from the alphabet in class. Make a list of all the countries beginning with that letter. Then pick one country from your list. Mum. Write down some facts about the country you have chosen, including population, languages spoken, etc. As well as a short summary of the religion or religions practised in that country. Oh, blimey, I'm glad I'm not still at school. What letter did you pick? V. V? Countries beginning with V. Venezuela. Vienna? Vienna's not a country. It's the capital of Austria. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so when does it have to be in by? Today. Have you done it? I'll do it on the bus. Oh, Simon. Well, that's what you used to do, innit? Yeah, and look at me now. I'll do it after school in detention, then. Well, how are you going to do detention when you've got your match? I'll sort it. How? How are you going to find out the religious practices of Venezuela? I'll guess. Guess? That... Oh. Right. <clears throat> the currency is the Bolivar, named after Simon Bolivar. Oh, <laughs> nice name. Who was born on the 24th of July, 1783. The population is 30.41 million and the language they speak is Spanish. Oh, and it was named after Venice. Uh, that was something to do with the Italian explorer who discovered it. Venezuela is the home to the world's highest waterfall, Angel Falls, and it boasts over 25,000 species of orchids. I'm doing the Virgin Islands. What? I've changed my mind. I'm not doing Venezuela, I'm doing the Virgin Islands. I don't want you to do my own work for me. I don't want you to come and watch me play football either. No offence. Well, I am coming to watch you play football and I'm bringing your granddad. Definitely do not bring granddad. Who brings the granddad to a football match? Me. I'm relying on him for a lift. Well, don't. <sighs> oh, Sai, you. Sai! 
Mm. Does it sound like nothing? It was just a little chat. All right. Anyway, I'm not ready for all that. What are you ready for? Oh, a bit of tact, will you? What was his name? I can't remember. Well, all right, then. It was called Tom. Mm, OK. I like that. Tom and Liam. Got a nice ring to it. No, stop it. So come on. Tell us about him. Well, he had these eyes. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> stop it. <laughs> hey. Yo. Listen, sorry about all that. What? All that talk in there. All that talk? I heard nothing. Mm. Well, I appreciate you saying that, but, look, I only had a conversation with him. Nothing happened. He just gave me his number, that's all. It's no problem. I meant what I said. I'm not ready. Can't mourn him forever. I will mourn him forever. But that doesn't mean that maybe one day I won't find somebody else. No, I know. And he did seem like a nice guy. Look, ring him. Go for it. Knock yourself out. Yeah, I might do. You should. Thanks. Hey, listen, si has got his uh, first football match with his new team later, if you fancy it. Gonna take Ken down, but he don't really want us to go, but maybe if you're there. I'm in. Nice one. Oh, how have they got like this? Hurry up, they'll be kicking off in a minute. But this is why I'm always telling you to untie your laces properly before you take them off. Should I go and help? I think that might come your style. Mm. The worst thing is, the more you try to pull it free, the tighter it gets. All right, Barlow, having trouble with your laces? He's got a knot in him, if you must know. Who's that? All right, Sam Barlow, he goes to my school. His mum still ties his laces. Shut up. Ever tried Velcro? If you don't tie your laces properly before taking your shoes off, Amy, it's just the same. Here, yeah, let me have a go. Come on, boys. Carl, how to in? What's the number 24? Oh, imagine getting that worked up over a bunch of lads playing football. Let's have a look, have a look. Go on, lads. What do you say? Don't let him get goal side of your side. Drop back. Come on. Children. At the end of the day, one team wears a green jersey, they wear blue. You think about all those mega stars, none of whom have any connection at all to the cities they're representing. Go, go, let's go! Who knows that way, of course? It's Tom Finney, who was born in Preston. And who did he choose to play for? Yeah, well, if Tom Finney was playing today, he'd be playing for Real Madrid, he'd be a Galactico with loads of products in his hair. Yeah, well, he wasn't averse to a spot of brill cream, even then. Some things never change. Come on, Si! Get stuck in, lad. How oh, Tom? Of all the sports halls, etc., etc. <laughs> How are you? Yeah, battling, right? What are you doing here? Oh, I'm just watching my lad play uh, number 12, Simon Barlow. Oh, my number six, Jordan. Oh, you never mentioned the son. What? How did you? <laughs> <laughs> so, what about his mum? Separated. You? Oh, uh, divorced. Oh. Your mum's flirting at a kid's football match. Can she sink any lower? Don't let him get away from your side. Stay goal side. You're better than that. Come on. Hey, what's the matter? Are you really that desperate? My manager at my first ever match. What? I'm trying to concentrate out there when all I can see is you chatting him up on the sideline. I just thought he was one of the other dads and I wasn't chatting him up. He's Jordan's dad, but he's also the manager. Come on, mate, you're missing this. <sighs> Sai, I just thought he's one of the other dads. Oh, you couldn't help yourself, could you? I'm here to support you. I didn't want you to come. Why did you even bother? And you brought off the street with you. I brought your granddad and Zidane. <laughs> No wonder you got kicked if your mum's knocking off the coach. Could her skirt be any shorter, by the way? Referee, keep your eye on number 12. You do your job and I'll do mine. I wish you would. 
Why don't you put a blue shirt on and have done with it? This is all rather unseemly. Are you keeping count, ref? Because that's three. I've got three. Why don't you keep it shut? You know what that is, mate? Fancy dress. One more word from you and you're off. What are you going to do? Send me to the stands? Well, just watch the game, pal, yeah? You stay out of it. <laughs> what did I tell you? Number 12. <laughs> Get is that Simon? <laughs> Get off! <laughs> We're back in Coronation Street in half an hour. Is he okay? I don't know. It's, it's all right. There's an accident. I went for the ball. Liar. You didn't go for the ball. You went for his legs. I saw you. No, you didn't. None of us did. You were too busy mouthing off at the ref. But we need to call an ambulance. I'll do it. I told you it was an accident. Oh, I hope so. I really do. You'll be all right, son. I promise. He was in torch, you know. The city's youth academy. Fuck off, me. I think you should go. Be with your son. I'm going. You haven't heard the last of this. It was an accident, what happened, I swear. Well, whatever did happen, I think we had enough for today. Game's over. <sighs> right, do you want clearing up? I see. Yeah. Maybe we should help as well. <sighs> Listen, this might sound a bit daft, but does this sort of thing happen a lot? Well, it's a contact sport. Players are always getting knocks. Well, that wasn't just a knock, was it? No, it did look pretty serious. But well, accidents happen all the time. So you think it was just an accident? If Simon says it was, I guess we've just got to believe him. It's not like he's done this kind of thing before, is it? Well, thanks for the lift, Ken, and thanks for coming. I'm just sorry it ended the way it did. And let's hope your friend's OK. He's not my friend. Right, come on, let's go. But we're going to the beach to get something to eat. No, we're not. Why not? Because I just said so, that's why. It's not fair. I didn't do anything wrong. Oh, no, you never do, but people still seem to get hurt. I told you it wasn't my fault! Simon, stop it! That's all right, I'll go off through. Oi! It'll be OK. No, it's not. I can't do this anymore. Can't keep doing what? I can't keep lying for him, protecting him. I can't do it anymore. Still nothing from Zidane. I've phoned him twice. I'm sure everything will be all right. Yeah, drink this. And if we don't hear from him soon, we'll go back out again, OK? OK. So, what do we do now? Oh, I don't know. It don't look like the council is working, does it? Well, perhaps if we gave it a bit longer, then... Um... Then what? Then everything will be fine and Simon will just be like any normal 12-year-old. Well, I don't believe that and I don't think you do either. Besides, I don't think we can wait. Why? Because I'm worried he's going to hurt somebody else. We all do rash and impulsive things when we're upset. Ken, I've lamped a few people in my time. But with him, it's different. I'm not talking a few punch-ups in the schoolyard. He might have broken this kid's leg on purpose. And I can't ignore that and pretend it didn't happen. It's manager. Tom. Mm. Didn't he say he'd call, let us know if you heard any news? Yeah, so? Well, maybe it'd be better if we waited until we know exactly what we're dealing with before we make a decision. Especially one we might regret. I've been looking everywhere for you. Where'd you go? What, like you care? Yeah, hang on a minute. I want a word. About what? About what happened with that lad. I told you I went for the ball. Yeah, well, you missed it. Big time. I know he was winding you up during the match. What did he say? Don't want to talk about it. Sai. Sai. I, I don't want to talk about it. Are you stupid or what? But I'm trying to help you here. We all are. But if you keep acting like a spoiled little brat and turning on people all the time, you're going to be on your own. 
Even your mum's had enough. It's fine with me. You don't mean that. I don't, huh? Do you know what Carl said to me during that match? He said she was a slag. And he's right. Don't you dare speak about your mum like that. Take that back now. Or what? You're gonna hit me? You know I wouldn't do that. Well, I would. What's that supposed to mean? I did it. You did what? I wanted to hurt him. When he was crying, and he stretched him off. I was glad. Just got your text, where is he? In his room. Has he had anything to eat? I don't know. I'll go and ask him. Wait. I need to tell you something. Go on, then. What? He said it wasn't an accident. Why? What did he say? That Kyle had been winding him up. He said he wanted to hurt him. And when he did, he said he was glad. but it's my responsibility, isn't it? I have tried everything, but nothing works. He just won't listen. Not to you, me, Ken, the council, or nobody. Nothing works. What's he going to do next time someone makes him angry? Stab him. So what now? I'm going to have to report him. What? What do you mean, you two? To the police. I'm going to have to go down there tomorrow and I'm going to have to tell him what he's done. Have you talked on my lunch card? Yeah. I was only asking. Get ready for school. Mum. I won't tell you again. Birthday, Eva. Thank you. Sorry, Eva, it completely slipped my mind. Oh, please. Top tip for this special day. Oh, I'm not interested. Look, I know you're gonna bite me head off, but I think you need to speak to him. Get his side. <sighs> what before I grass up my own son? No, before you do something that you can't undo. I've told you what he said to Zidane. Yeah, and I get that. Eva, you didn't see the state of that kid's leg. I can't keep burying my head in the sand. I'm not suggesting you do. I'm just saying, take a couple of days. It's a massive decision. Uh, you think I'm not aware of that? I despise myself for even contemplating going to the police. But if I do nothing... I just still see a little boy sometimes. Yeah, well, that little boy's long gone. Move it, Simon, or you'll be late. Yeah. Mum, about Kyle. I don't want to discuss it. Straight home. We can't afford a visit from the food hygiene inspectors. Trust me, we're bulletproof. You know that for a fact, do you? No, but... Right, exactly. So were you two? It's all right, we were worried you were someone else. He was worried. I thought you were poorly. I feel better. Hey, you look shy Oh, it's nothing a double espresso won't sort out. So come on then, what's the big drama? There's a time I'd see you. Oh. Hey, yeah. Hey, sorry to just drop in like this. Oh, don't be silly. Can I get you anything? Uh, no, thanks. I can't stay. 
I was at the hospital. Oh, you've been to see Kyle? Briefly. How's he doing? Not great, if I'm honest. He was still pretty out of it after the operation. All oh, right, so he's serious then. Double break. Oh, God. I wish I had better news. Yeah, me too. It's just a matter of uh, hoping for the best now. Which is? He's out six to eight months tops. Uh, the worst case? Oh, worst case, he never plays again. But that's a long way down the road. Anyway, just tell Sam from me uh, not to blame himself. Yeah. Okay, see ya. Yeah, see ya. time, Liam. We can't help unless you talk to us. You came here for a reason. And trust me, you've already done the difficult part. It's just hard to know where to start. You try from the beginning. OK. Now, the assault that you're reporting, does that involve someone you're close to? We're talking about a husband or a partner? No. No. It's my son. My 12-year-old son. Kids get angry. Well, I get angry if I've been through half the things he's been through. He's got a heart goal, really. I I'm not trying to justify what he's done. But you name it, it's happened to him. When did he first actually assault you? Um. It was uh, the middle of last year, June, I think. And it wasn't an assault, it, it was more an outburst. And what did he do? He threw a TV remote at me. I mean, he was mortified afterwards. And then things calmed down for a bit. But I, well, I just couldn't spot the triggers, you see. And then when I did, well, things had just got worse. He started saying things, horrible things. So it was verbal as well as physical? Well, mostly verbal. Well, uh, there was one time he, he kicked my leg. And, uh, well, then it just started to get worse. He started back at school and some kids were teasing him about his phone and well, he, he just lost it with me. When you say lost it? Um, we had a row. Um, and he shoved me and hit my head. And then some friends found me. You're unconscious? Yeah, yeah, but only for a bit. Hospitalised? Yeah, just for one night, though. Still very serious. So, what do you do next? Um. I, uh, I sent him to go and stay with his dad for a bit, you know. I, I thought a change of scenery might help him. Did it? Hardly. Things just got worse. He just... He just got... He just got more angry. So there was an escalation? Yeah. Yeah, you could say that. He, um, he belted his cousin Amy and... All hell broke loose and then the whole family got involved. Why didn't you call the police then? Well, because Simon was in pieces and by then he'd agreed to go for some counselling. Roughly when was that? Um, it, it, it was the end of November. So what's changed? Why'd you come here, Liam? Because yesterday he broke a lad's leg playing football. You make it sound like it wasn't an accident? It wasn't. Football's a contact sport. He did it on purpose. And that poor lad might never play football again. He was bragging that he was glad he'd hurt him. And I can't let that happen again. I... Where and when did Martin Luther King make his I have a dream speech? Washington, D.C., 
August the 28th, 1963. Correct. Sorry I'm late, I'll um, get tea started. We've had our tea, yours is in the oven. What are you doing? Simon's got a history test tomorrow. Where have you been? Out. Sorry, I wasn't being nosy. Is there any news about Kyle? I texted Tom, but... Yeah. He came to see me at work earlier. Did he say anything? Yeah. He said that it's bad. How bad? He might never play again. But he can work wonders these days. I need to go and see him. And say what? Sorry, of course. Oh, you're sorry, are you? Funny, yesterday you were glad. Sidan told you. I knew I shouldn't have said anything. No, you shouldn't have ruined that poor kid's life. God, what is wrong with you? I didn't mean it, not on purpose anyway. I'd have never hurt Kyle. You do believe me, don't you? Mum, please. Me to put some toast on for you. I'm not hungry. Well, you need to eat, Sai. And um, sit down, I need to talk to you about something. I don't feel very well. I feel really hot. Definitely got a temperature. Well, if you were that hot, you'd be dead. <gasps> Did you put that on your head? No. I don't want to go to school today. Sai. I want to spend the day with you. Yeah, well, I have to go to work. We could bunk off together. Watch a film. I can get some of those crisps you like. Please. Uh, look, well... Great, I'll jump in the shower. Sorry about the mug trick. Where is he? Uh, he's in the shower. Uh, bit of a risk. Well, it takes ages these days. <laughs> He's suddenly found an interest for getting clean. I think it must be down to girls. <laughs> I've done the right thing, haven't I, Ken? You did what you had to. Did Simon know you called the police? No, uh, I was going to say this morning, but the moment passed. He wants to stay off school and watch a film with me. Good, good, so you can take your own time. Tell him afterwards when you both relax. I don't want him to get locked up, Ken. I just give him a slap on the wrist, that's so. all. And it's exactly what he needs, a bit of a scare. You think? I do. Just don't worry. You've done nothing wrong. Jones, comedy or a thriller? Don't mind. Comedy. This one's supposed to be ace. It's a 15 camera one. Yeah, yeah, go on. We haven't done this for ages. That was great. I should watch another. No, sorry, wait. Um, I, I need to talk to you about something. We well, haven't forgotten about Kyle. <sighs> yeah, well, it's not as simple as that. I'll get it. No, I'll get it. Sorry, I'll get it. Hello? Yeah, uh, come up. Listen, I, I know that you're really sorry about what happened to Kyle. What's wrong? He must be Simon Barlow. Yeah? I'm PC Saunders, and this is PC Duller. They just need to ask you a few questions. Why do I need to call with you? As I've said, all will be explained when we get to the station. Am I being arrested? Mum? No, of course you're not. No one's being arrested. We just need to ask you some questions. 
I didn't attack him. Whatever Carl said, I didn't do it on purpose. I swear I'm alive. Yeah, we need to ask you some other questions too. What about? We need to discuss some former incidents. What former incidents? Going to see how Leon and Simon were. Yeah, great minds. Get off me! Come on, son. I'm not going! Get off me! Get off me! Come on, come on. You told him! You told him what I said! Come on. But you actually called him. I'm his grandfather. I'll go with him. Come on, Simon. Can't you stop him? They just need to ask you a few questions. No, I'll be with you. I'm not going! Come on. Come on. Mom! Mom! I would say this, but the poor kid. Can you please confirm your full name and date of birth? Simon John Barlow, 6th of July, 2003. Also present acting as appropriate adult. Kenneth Barlow. Mr. Barlow, may I just remind you at this moment that your role in this interview is to ensure that Simon's welfare is looked after and to assist him in understanding any questions that he's asked. You're not here to answer any questions for Simon. I understand. Now, at this time, Simon, I must remind you that you're under caution. You do not have to say anything, but it may harm your defence if you do not mention, when questioned, something which you later align in court. He looks so terrified. Well, maybe he needs to be terrified. Maybe you've been too soft on him. Yeah, that's what Ken keeps saying. I'm his mum. And you're doing this for his own good? You've given him chance after chance. Kyle's in hospital with multiple fractures. What if the next kid he batters isn't so lucky? Well, it's better he gets a rap on the knuckles now than spends the rest of his life locked up. But what if they do lock him up? Oh, they won't. Tackle on the football field, word against word. You can't do much more than caution him. The thing is, I've, uh, I've told them about the abuse. I just can't lie anymore. Done. When we were sitting down today, and he was snuggling up to me, and I just felt guilty. Yeah, he's not done that in ages. I was just looking, I'm thinking. He's just a kid. He's just a kid, isn't he? And because of me, now the police are gonna think he's some violent thug. God, I've done it all wrong, haven't I? When you see him, you can explain. Tell him why you had to do it. We just want to hear your side of the story. Things have been a bit tough at home recently. Is that right? You've been talking to a counsellor? He goes once a week. How's it been going? You seem like a good lad. You had a tough time, I get that. But we need to hear your side of it. OK? What has my mum told you? We just want to know what you got to tell us. I don't know. I just get dead angry sometimes. I don't mean to hurt my mum. Or anyone else. I just, I just feel like I can't stop myself. But I didn't do that to Kyle. Not on purpose, anyway. Honest. How long does it take to answer a few questions? Do you want a cup of tea or something? No, I don't want a cup of tea. I just want to see my son.
quid for that coffee machine. I'm dying of thirsty. Molly. Oh, but I've been loads better lately, haven't I, Grandad? What about this incident with Carla? Do you mean to wait? I told you no. Did he say something to you, Simon, something to wind you up? No. I mean, yeah, he did. Did he make but... you angry? He had the ball and I tackled him. I didn't do anything wrong. Simon, it's best if you just be honest. You like my mum, you don't believe me. No, please, just tell the truth. <laughs> Sit down, please. No! Simon, please. It was an accident. Why would anyone believe me? <laughs> Simon. Can I stay yours tonight, Grandad? Oh, Simon, please. Ah, please. Maybe it's a good idea if he does come back with me. Right. What did they say? Well, they've released him pending an investigation. Imagine they're going to want to talk to you again and the other boys' parents. Right, so I was in there. Well, I'm afraid he still won't admit it. I don't get it. He was doing so well with his therapy and all that. Why would he mess it up now? Oh, anger and rational, sadly. I'll catch him up. You've done the right thing, Leanne. Sam will come round. Just give him time. He hates me, Ken. I suppose so. Oh, evening, Ken. Oh, evening, Norris. But look, I, I hope there's no bad feeling. Sorry? Well, I've taken over your role as campaign manager. Now, I, I, I'm sure you would have done a satisfactory job, but Sally needs someone who can really lead her to victory. And I'm sure you're the perfect person for the job. Oh, thank you. Now, young Simon, uh, I hear you were taken away in a police car today. And if they did? Simon. They just took you for a little ride, did they? Something like that, Norris, yeah. yes. Do you know it's really none of your business, so why don't you jog on? Mm. You look how I feel. Well, it's not been the best of days. Right, so come on then, take me to the Rovers for a glass of red. Mm. Oh, well, we can smuggle him in. Proper little Barlow now, aren't you? Not afraid of breaking the law? So you're stopping over tonight or what? Actually, I think it may be for a little longer than one night. Dad, I really... We'll discuss this later. Just a small chips. Thanks. Well, you don't buy me chips after I've been arrested. I thought you were going for a drink. Oh, do you know what? Forget it. I know when I'm not wanted. Well, enjoy your evening and don't let him watch anything violent because we don't want him getting any ideas, do we? He might think that he hates you, but he won't. Not forever, just for a little bit, maybe. Thanks. Oh, you know what? I think I'll just go to bed. Yeah, you do look tired. Thanks. I'll use that now. Hello? Well, that was dull. All folk round here want to talk about is flaming Sally Webster, or Metcalf, or whatever her name is. Hey, Dad, can you take Amy on Monday night? It's just that we want to stop over at that hotel. Are you all right? Fine times. Where's Rocky? If you mean Simon, is in bed. And to be honest, Tracy, I could do without your so-called sense of humour right now. Right. Oh. Well, do you want a brew? No, thank you. How was it today? It was horrible, actually, Tracy. Seeing Simon so upset. And then watching him, watching him lie. It's very difficult. So what do you think will happen? Oh, young offenders is a possibility, I imagine. And I hate to say this, but if he did hurt that boy on purpose, then... Maybe that's the only solution. It was an accident. Oh, I don't believe it. I had no idea any of the parents had filmed it. Yeah, well, it's lucky they did. Now I've seen it, I, I don't know what to do. Well, we should hand it into the police, really. The police? 
Yeah. Right, well, I'd best be off. Let me know if there's anything I can do, okay? I'll send you a copy of this so you can do what you need to. All right, thanks, Tom. I'll see ya. See ya. Oh, what have I done? <sighs> Why would he tell me you hurt that lad on purpose when he didn't? Showing off. Well, that doesn't make any sense. Because he was lashing out. He just said what we were all thinking anyway. I should have known he didn't do it. No, I should have known. And if I hadn't seen that video, I still would have been thinking the worst of him. Lee, it's understandable after what you've been through. Yeah, but he told me he didn't do it. And I didn't believe him. I didn't believe my own son. <sighs> He's never going to forgive me now, is he? Ever. I feel terrible. You didn't know? And after everything that's happened. Yeah, but I jumped to the wrong conclusion. He needs support, not being dobbed into the police by his own mother. What's that? This is the proof that you never kicked Kyle. Somebody videoed the game. I told you I didn't. I know you did, but it was too late by then. But I'm going to take this to the police, I'm going to show them, and I'm going to fix this, I promise. I showed them the video, and they said that's an end to it. So why don't we go home? I'm happy here. Sai, we need to go home. Can I stay here, Grandad? Well, of course you can, but... I'm staying here. I've retracted the statement. I never asked you. I wanted to show you I'm on your side. I could have gone to Youth Defenders Prison. You could have put me in prison. Sai, please. Can I go upstairs, Grandad? Oh, yeah, if you like. What can I do? Give him some space. Some time. And cross your fingers. Hey, Dad. It's me. This is never an easy ride. Oh, I've counted all the mistakes I've made. Ah, oh, it's Peter. Hiya. Oh, he has, has he? Yeah, well, maybe you don't know the full story. Peter, I was trying to help. Oh, you don't understand. Yeah, I'm, I'm there now. Yeah, hang on a minute. He wants to speak to you. Peter? Can you come down, please? Whatever you want to do, it's your choice. What do you want? You just found your dad. So? So, I've spoken to him. Can you sit down, please? Listen, I never wanted to phone the police. It was the hardest thing I've ever had to do. I do love you, you know. And I was just trying to help. But I didn't know how. And I was just worried that if you carried on doing all them things you were doing, that someone was going to get seriously hurt. I think if you knew how upset your mother has been over this... More upset than me. You've every right to be angry. I just need you to know how much I care about you. Listen, your dad said that you could go and stay with him over half term if you want. Can I? Well, I'd rather you stay here with me and we can sort this out. I want to see my dad. So you ate it last time. Anything's better than being with you. Sorry, man. I want to go and see my dad. Right, fine. Go and pack your stuff then. Grandad's offered to give you a lift. He'll drive you down tonight. Are you sure? Well, if I make him stay here, he's just going to hate me even more than he does now. Well, I better go and pack too. Are you going to be all right? I'm worried about you. I'm OK. Well, maybe this break will do everybody a bit of good. I'm just sorry you've got to drive all the way down there. I'll phone you every day. Oh. Oh, it's Eva. Hi, Eva. 
Yeah, I'm just at Ken's now. He's gonna drive Simon to Peter's for half term. Yeah, okay, thanks. Try. She's uh, gonna come and say goodbye. Good, good, because you shouldn't be on your own. The way things are going, I might have to get used to it. <laughs> right, come on, you. Not too big for an ilk. Tell me when you get there. I will, yeah. And try not to worry. Um, if you keep an eye on Eccles and uh, Tracy and Robert will be back tomorrow. And you be careful, right? Right, come on, let's go then. Do I not get a hug? Well, I've got my bag on now. Hey, come on, give your mum an hug. It's all right. I do love you, Sai. I'll be counting the days till you come home. I might not come back. Don't say that. Come we go. OK, let's go. Bye. 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 Hey, come here. Ah, come in. Hiya. I just saw you inside getting out of the car. Yes, I'm just making us a quick lunch. Oh, is he upstairs? Uh, yes, he's unpacking. So, good journey? Uh, five hours. Oh. It's up at seven o'clock. <laughs> so, how was it down there? Well, um, it was okay, actually. Yeah? Yeah, he, uh, a bit withdrawn the first few days and then he came out of himself. Oh. Amazing what a few days away from me can do, eh? Oh, I wouldn't say that. Hi, Si. Hi, uh... Good trip? Yeah, it was okay. Did you do anything nice? I went fishing one day. All right. What, with Dad? Yeah, we caught a couple of herring. What, you went out to sea? In a rowing boat. <laughs> I kept it out of the way. I'm not sure I've still got my sea legs. <laughs> so did you eat them then? Yeah, they were really nice. Right. Well, it's nice to have you back in one piece. I missed you. I miss you too. So, um, are you gonna come home or...? Can I stay here with Grandad for a bit? Is that all right? Right. School tomorrow, though, remember? <laughs> Don't remind me. 